Another rhythm that uses the same coup de trois is the 9-8 rhythm, the slip jig rhythm. And uh, it's, it's interesting. I like it. There's not too many tunes around. Uh, the particular one I have in mind is called Drops of Brandy. It's an Irish slip jig and it's tuned in G. So that gives us a chance to retune the instrument to play in the key of G. Because at the moment we're locked in C. Now if you try and play in the key of G with these drones, um, it's just wrong. Um, what needs to happen is we need to take off the pretty bourdon and replace that with the grill bourdon in G. Now you can hear the trumpet sticking out like a sore thumb. It doesn't want to be in C, it wants to go up to D. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, just one or two points of interest. Because you've now tightened the string up, it will have a slight memory. It will tend to drop flat over the first few minutes that it's been tuned up to that pitch. So if you wind it up to D, and then launch into your tune, halfway through the tune, you'll be out of tune with your trumpet, which is not good. Um, also, you've increased the tension of it, so uh, the shout is going to be harder onto the soundboard, so you're going to be uh, a little bit stronger on the shout. You might need to tighten up the tear onto it um, to get the buzz for the same number of revolutions as you were doing in, in C tuning. <laughs> And of course the sound of the shout is going to be a little bit louder as well because there's greater tension on it. Um, there is alternative to all of that. If you have a trumpet that's tuned in G, it can either be the same G as the chanterelles or it can be an octave down. Then you don't have to worry about retuning any strings. That same G string will work for either playing in C or playing in G. Uh, in a lot of ways it, it makes it sound similar to the, um, to the French DG tuning. This one's tuned at the octave below the chanterelles and it gives a slightly Hungarian tekaro kind of sound. Uh, which comes in now and again. But for the purposes of the DVD, we'll stick with... Stick with it tuned up to D. The tune we're going to play is Drops of Brandy. It's not a difficult tune. Um, there are one or two little tricks, nothing we haven't learnt already. Um, so I'll just play it through slow time to give you an idea. Underneath the basic coup de trois is also an underlying almost 3 4 time. So it's. Which is sitting underneath the rhythm. So the rhythm for this one, if you wanted to just use a single buzz, would be. out one of the buzzes. So that would be really boring. Okay. And uh, I'll just play that through with that 
rhythm just to let you see how it sounds. <laughs> just uh, underlines the basic feel of the rhythm. It's what you would stamp your feet to if you were stamping your feet. So practically it's a mixture of that rhythm and a little bit more sticking note to note with the trumpet. Um, so to actually do it note for note obviously Purely just the triangle, push, pull, lift, push, pull, lift, and even that would be a little bit predictable. So you try and mix and match the two um, according to the way you feel. That's all there is to that one.